Do you have a laser cutter with an old and busted Litro MPC6515 control panel? Old and busted. These buttons are so worn out. Here's how to replace it with new hotness in just a few steps. New hotness. Step one, remove this old control panel. Step two, out with the old, in with the new. Step three, realize it doesn't fit. Nope. Step four, sigh. <sighs> Step five, decide you might as well see if it works electrically. I mean, like, the connector's the same. It should work, right? Why don't I just leave it like this? What's the worst that can happen, right? Step six, turn it on and hope. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Huh. Well, that is not ideal, but at least it didn't blow up. Step seven, realize this is going to take a while. Not ideal. Step eight, are we on step eight? I've lost count. Find some manual or video or some way to change the language on a laser cutter while you're navigating menus in a different language that you don't even understand! Ta-da! Step nine, do some figuring, because we still gotta solve this problem. I should probably turn this off. Oh good, you can hear me again. Pretty much the same part with nearly identical part numbers, it's just... This one has holes, and this one has the screws, and this... Oh, yeah. Friends who've used AliExpress. How surprised are you that these two parts are nearly identical, but different in some minor and annoyingly inconvenient way, on a scale of 1 to 10? I am zero surprised. I could drill holes in the chassis for these, uh, for these bolts on the new panel, but I feel like they almost line up with the bolts in the uh, old chassis, and that would be inconvenient to try to drill through to that. It's just almost but doesn't quite line up. I could drill, or I could... Fuck. Close enough. Let's throw some nuts on there, yeah! Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Oh good! The new hotness is up and running! Look at how not worn out these buttons are! Step whatever, celebrate!